In this video, we are going to create PHP scripts that will accept HTTP requests from our mobile application, um, then establish connection with MySQL database and uh, execute uh, search uh, for our friends using the keyword and then return result to our uh, mobile application. And I have, um, I'm using a NetBeans development environment and I have created a new project here, UI search bar case insensitive search. And um, it doesn't have anything except one index uh, PHP file, which I'm actually not going to use. It was created by default. And I will start by uh, creating um, a new folder. And that will be uh, called DB for database. Um, I will uh, store files that are related to database in this folder. And I'm going to create a new one, new uh, PHP file. And I'll call this file connection or con PHP. So uh, this file is going to uh, contain username and password and um, database access details that are needed to connect to a database. And I have prepared a little uh, code so I don't have to type much. So my connection PHP will um, hold uh, will be a class uh, will, will be a class um, called con and it will have uh, four static uh, variables. And uh, one of them is a database host, DB host, which is going to be local host because I'm running this example on my Mac Book Pro uh, local host, Apache to web server. And database user is root. I did not create any password for my um, local host machine. And a database name uh, is Swift app. I have, um, my database again running on localhost and this is php my admin so here is my swift app database and it has a few tables uh, one of them is users and there's only one user in and user has a user id email first name last name password and then uh, some some other fields and i uh, have a um, table friends which has front id uh, an auto increment value and then user ID, which links my um, friends table, friends record with the users. For example, uh, user ID is 23. So this uh, user, user 23 here, has two friends. Uh, one friend is Bill Gates and another friend is Steve Jobs. And friend is first name and last name. So friends table is the one we're going to be um, executing select query again. So we're going to read data from this table okay so let's go back to our php project so um this class we will use to uh, connect to our mysql database so these fields like username and password and database name you will need to replace with uh the one uh, to connect to your database okay the next class that i'm going to create is going to be actually um a database connection access object so i'll call it uh, mysql down database access object and that's also going to be a class and i also have um, this um, class ready for us to execute and basically um, this um, let's me copy and paste it uh, partially uh, so it's going to be a class called mysql down and this class will have some um, variables uh, like database host user password connection name and a constructor which will accept uh, the, some parameters like database host uh, user password database name and then we'll in initialize these variables with the uh, connection access details that we pass to a constructor and then it has two uh, functions open connection and close connection which uh, we will open database connection just before executing a SQL query and then when we are done we will close a SQL connection and then we will uh, have uh, one um, more function which is actually find friends uh, the one which executes a SQL uh, select query so um, this function find friends will accept two parameters search word and user ID and then it will return an array which is going to be um, which will contain uh, records that uh, matched our keyword search word. So the SQL query reads this way, select all 
from a friend's table where first name is like search word or last name is like search word and these are grouped because either one of them should match either like first name or last name and user id is equal to the one we pass this way we if user id is for example 23 then we select uh friends that belong to user 23 and user id will come from your mobile application it will be sent from mobile app uh okay then we uh, prepare a statement and um we will will need to bind these parameters uh to our prepared statement and the first parameter is search word because uh, the first question mark is a search word first name like search word second parameter last name like search word again and then third parameter user id is user id that we have here as our parameter and because we are using like here uh, like we need to add a special character this percent character to our search word when quotes I'm, I'm using single quotes but it can be either single or double quotes doesn't matter uh, so but it's important um, that um, we have them at both sides this way our search query will be uh, very flexible and uh, case insensitive as well uh, and then we will execute uh, this statement and then we will uh, fetch result uh, from um, um, from uh, executing of this statement and then if uh, we will use while uh, while loop to check if um, uh, our result contains any row we will try to fetch first row and then if it has anything we will store it in our return value array so if there are two friends we'll have two records in our return value if there are three friends we'll have three records if there is only one one if there is nothing found uh, we will have uh, an empty return value and by the way this mysql data access object and connection class all source code i'm going to include uh, in the description to this video so you might not want to type it but i actually just copy it from uh, the link that i will provide okay and the next class i'm going to create will be called find friends php and um let me type find friends find friends so our mobile application will will send http request to this um, php script and uh, first thing that we want to do in this php script is include or require a um, couple of scripts the first script that we need to require is connection which is stored uh, inside of database folder so it's a database connection database mysql dao um, and then we will uh, declare a return value the, the return value that we will be returning to uh, our uh, mobile application and this return value will need to be json encoded our mobile application expects return value to be a json document so we will use php spell special function json encode which will take a php array and will convert it into a json document okay but before we can do anything uh with um uh before we can execute um uh, select query uh, or even can start connecting to our database we need to make sure that our find friends php script does re uh, does receive required parameters so i have a little um php script here so which checks if um so this uh, um, post is a special type php array which will contain request parameters uh, sent to uh, this script via http post request so um, uh, if you're sending uh, data to your php script using http post request then you must use post uh, if you're sending get then this will uh, be uh, a get for example if you pass parameters via um, browser address book or you sending it as http get from mobile application so don't confuse this two or you can use request to read both get and post uh, but it's better uh, to use um, post if you're actually sending http post request anyways so the first one we need to check if our parameters are not empty so we check first word and uh, so if search word or user id um, is empty then we will um, put a message um, 
variable into or message key into our uh, PHP array with uh, a message a value missing required information and then we will uh, echo the return value and return we do not want to continue if these parameters are empty uh, but if parameters are not empty then we know we can um, start um, connecting to our uh, MySQL database and the first thing that we will do we will uh, take this um, parameters through a special type PHP function called HTML entities. Look up this function in, in the database, but basically it helps um, uh, your, um, it prepares your variables uh, uh, for MySQL to, to be uh, secure to use with MySQL. So it, current, it, it helps you prevent um, a MySQL uh, SQL in injection uh, hacker attacks uh, but look it up HTML entities and PHP documentation uh, um, so the next um, two lines of code that we need to, to be using is actually to connect to MySQL and because MySQL data access object is a class I'm instantiating it using the new um, so uh, uh, I'm instantiating new MySQL data access object here if I go in um, there is uh, a name MySQL so I'm using new to, and uh, when uh, this class is instantiated its constructor will be called and our constructor here um, accepts four parameters and these parameters are database host user password and database name and uh, this value come from connection PHP class and because they're static variables this is uh, the syntaxes you need to use to access uh, static variables from your um, PHP class so if I hold command button on my keyboard and click on DB host I'll go to the definition of this variable localhost uh, root and so on okay so now uh, my uh, MySQL data access object is created I open connection and um, next uh, thing that I can do I can um, run I, I can um, reference this data access object and then call for um, find friends function passing search word and user ID these two variables here into this function find friends so if I hold command button on my keyboard and click on function name it will take me to the, um, the definition or declaration of this uh, function to, I mean, I mean, to the implementation of this function um okay so um this function will execute a uh, mysql select query and the result of this function will be assigned will be stored in friends php variable now we don't need our uh, php connection anymore uh, mysql connection anymore so we'll close it and uh, we will um put um we will uh, create a new key in our uh, return value array and we will store friends under that key so I'm creating a new key called friends and I'm storing friends whatever um, this find friends function returns into that uh, PHP array and then finally I return uh, JSON uh, response so if I save it um, this is it for all three scripts again uh, our MySQL I mean our um, Swift mobile application will send HTTP request to find friends result with a PHP script which will connect uh, to a database and execute um, find friends uh, select query which is going to be case insensitive we're using like here and whatever is found will be returned to our um, um, Swift mobile application in the form of JSON uh, document uh, this is it for PHP scripts. Uh, let's um, uh, let's continue.